What's up guys? Bright and early on a Saturday morning. First thing on a Saturday morning. We had thunderstorms in Adelaide last night, man. So it was thunder and lightning and rain and hail and just all sorts of shit all damn night. So anyway, I get up first thing in the morning, come downstairs, go to get my day started, go to flick on the lights and the damn power's out. Which has me worried because you guys know I like to start my mornings off with a little bit of morning cardio on the devil's staircase. And if the power's out, that means the devil's staircase is out. Fortunately for me, although none of the lights are working, as you guys can see in the background, the power point's still working. And if the power points are still working, that means the devil's staircase is still working. So I'm going to hit myself some cardio, man. You might be able to see in the background here, we've got suitcases being packed up, luggage being packed up. We're off again this weekend. And we've got, actually, first thing before, whew, little Mr. Zeppelin. You want to say hi to the viewers at home, Zap? Good morning, mother Zap! Can't speak to people like that. What are you doing? <laughs> He's not really a morning dog. He doesn't like the mornings. Anyway, I'm going to hit myself up some morning cardio, and we'll catch you guys in a second. So back at Adelaide Airport, once again on an early Saturday morning, push your cats into house. What's up, Asha? Not much. Where are we off to? Alice Springs. Alice Springs. Another fitness workshop, man. Fitness workshop 10? Off the top of my head? Yeah? yeah. Something like that. Back to Asha's uh, stomping ground. Alright? Yeah, back to the desert. No, not, uh, well, I was going to say born and raised in Alice Springs. Not born in Alice Springs, but definitely raised in Alice Springs. Partially, 13 years. Yeah, long time. So anyway, we've got a fitness workshop. We're doing some other cool things in Alice Springs. We're about to hop on the plane. We'll catch you guys there. This plane is full as right now. Really? You hot there, Asha? Oh my god, come on here. Looks like there's a lot of people want to go to Alice Springs on a Saturday. We're trying to get away from the cold, but really it's colder in Alice Springs. <laughs> It's like two degrees or some shit at night, isn't it? Check the forecast this morning. I thought we were gonna have a little desert paradise getaway. I was wrong. Hey, just wait. It's gonna come out back right there. So we touched down, we're here in Alice Springs, check it, true middle of Australia, smack bang in the middle of the continent, check that out, bit of outback action going on, they popped us in a, uh, a, uh, <laughs> a bright orange Holden Commodore, matches the colour of the desert sands, Asha, what's up? What's up? How's the flight? It's good, I watched it's good. a movie, yeah. did some work. Yeah. Who's driving, more importantly? <laughs> Me. Oh, nice. Well, it is your... Uh, you, you know the streets better than I do. I don't know where the f*** we're going. Where are we going? To the casino. That's where we're staying, right? No, that's just where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to uh, we're gonna head to the, the casino, which happens to be the hotel, check in, uh, grab our stuff, and then we're going to go and uh, hit a workout at one of the local gyms down here. Yes. Ash is doing her vlog. Her. I'm going to vlog Ash doing her vlog. <laughs> it's vlogception! <laughs> We're vlogging each other's vlog. So me and Jerry have actually both landed. I didn't come here alone. <laughs> I think my vlog style is on point more than Asher's is. So you guys thought I was f***ing with you. But Asher is actually driving. Because Asher does actually know where she is going. And I'm not used to this. Usually when I travel and I go to different cities, I've got to pick up a GPS. or get Google Maps popping. I hopped in the car, I got GPS up. Asher said, what the f***? <laughs> this is my hometown. Let me take the driver's seat. You know, you know exactly. You know exactly where you're going. Anyway, one street now springs. Anyway, well, it looks like that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to swap to the front camera. I'm going to show you guys what we're, what's going on. So this is the one street in Alice Springs. <laughs> this is true, man. Our our uh, international viewers at home are going to love this. This is like true middle of Australia. This is this is the outback. You actually don't get any more outback than this. 
There's literally one road, few houses, and then nothing. People taking a wee on the side. People pissing on the side <laughs> of the street. Ain't that the truth? And flat. Flat is the other thing. Oh no, there's like some hills in the background. Yeah, we're just about to come through the gap. Oh, there's a gap? That's what that's in the book, the gap. Oh shit. There's a gap in the middle of the road. I love how like everything has literal names in Alice Springs. <laughs> <laughs> what should we call this? There's a gap. Well, let's just call it the gap. That's Adelaide down there. Shit. How long does it take to drive to Adelaide from Alice? 13 hours. 13 hours. Shit. Check that out. The Outback. So we're at the hotel. Hotel slash casino. We just checked into our room and unfortunately Millie booked us in a room that doesn't have a damn microwave. So we're going to hit our pre-workout meals. Ain't that the truth, Asher? What are you having pre-workout? Show the viewers at home. She's got the bit of Nutri to go. Prawns? <laughs> the f***? <laughs> Prawns and rice. Okay, all right, at least you got carbs in there. I got myself some roast chicken and brown rice, man. So we're just searching for a, uh, a restaurant. It looks like this one could be the one that has a microwave to heat our shit up. So we can get a pre-workout game. Success! Got ourselves some microwave. You get some microwave action, Asher? Look at that. Nice and warm, heated up. We're good to go. So we're just about to head to the gym, man. Go get our swole on, trying to outback gym of fitness. This is, a, this is pretty cool, right? Check this out. You know, I've been saying the outback a fair bit. Don't get much more outback than this, man. Have a look at that. And then that's the hotel. They put the damn near hotel right next to the desert up in this bitch. Check it. Anyway, I forgot my sunglasses. I didn't realize the sun was gonna be out there. The Springs has really put on the weather for us today, man. We left Adelaide this morning, we had thunderstorms, hail, all kinds of shit. So I forgot my sunglasses, so Asher hooked me up. Check this out. How's this for a bit of style? Or lack of? <laughs> we'll catch you guys at the gym. I heard that. So we just on our way to the gym, and I'm just sipping on my pre-workout here. Mix that bitch up with some Alice Springs tap water, and it tastes like the devil's anus. Like, it's horrible. Not the pre-workout, I'm training on the core extreme pump stack. That's delicious, but the water is shit. Asha, what is up with the Alice Springs water? Nothing. No, come on. You gotta tell the viewers, you just, I took a sip, I said it tastes like the devil's on noose, and you had a valid explanation for why it tastes like shit. But I don't know if it's true now. Well, tell them anyway. You're me get, I'm, I'm trying to find out. Don't Google and drive. I've been watching my vlogs too much. Googling and driving. Anyway. Yeah, so what's happening? I don't know. Alright, so I'll tell you. I'm pretty... It made me nervous. No, would you say it? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that the Adelaide water doesn't have extra fluoride put in it because... Not Adelaide, Alice Springs. I mean, the Alice Springs water doesn't have extra fluoride put in it because it's all natural. So we have nothing... Added yeah? Yeah. It know. tastes... It actually tastes it like... It tastes like I'm, I'm like wakeboarding in a river. And I've opened my mouth, face planted, and got myself a mouthful of river water. That's what it tastes like. It's horrible. Anyway, there's a fun fact for you guys. Alice Springs water does not have added fluoride. We're here at Outback Gym of Fitness. Let's go inside. All right, guys. So we just got done training at Alice Springs Outback Gym of Fitness, man. Just hit some arms. So I'll give you guys a bit of a gym tour, man. Show you what uh, an Outback Gym looks like. So check this out. Just at the entrance down here. Outback Gym of Fitness in the house. Of course, man. So check this out in here. Got uh, got some machines going on. We've got down in here. We got a functional area, so a CrossFit uh, strongman type stuff. This is pretty cool. Check this out. So power rack, deadlift platform, complete with a uh, deadlift re rack bar. All kinds of different bars in here, man. That bar was epic. I did some triceps with that shit, man. I love those bars, those, those multiple grip bars. Got uh, squat bars, man. All kinds of shit going on. Picture of Big Ron. My man, Big Ron. Ronnie Coleman's been here before. Check that out. Two Outback Gym of Fitness. Train hard. Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight baby. I love Ron, man. Ron is my boy. Anyway, we keep going on through here. 
So this is all the machine area. And check this out. All kinds of machines, man. Got some Nautilus going on, got some Panada, got some muscle motion, all sorts of stuff. And then only through here, we got the cardio area. I didn't spend any time in here. <laughs> you guys know I like cardio fasted first thing in the morning. Up here, we got a spin bike class upstairs, more cardio down up in here. It's a, uh, the owner, uh, Corey, Corey Cronin, is uh, into the motocross. So motocross inspired decorations all over the place, man. And this is where I spent most of my time in here. The free weights area, boom. Dumbbells on dumbbells on dumbbells. Some cables going on. Another dumbbell rack up in the back there. And then, uh, oh, there we go. The cheeky flex up in there. And that's it. So that's a full tour, man. Outback Gym and Fitness Alice Springs, if you ever find yourself in this. Oh, Asha, are you vlogging again? Are we doing, are we doing another vlogception? I think we might be. So if you guys ever find yourself out in Alice Springs in the Northern Territory, man, in the middle of Australia, you're looking for somewhere to train, man, come check out Outback Gym and Fitness. So we just got training at Outback Gym and Fitness, man, on our way back now to the casino, AKA the hotel. It's cold. It's freezing. Sun's coming down and it dropped like 20 degrees in minutes. I think Alice Springs is gonna freeze over tonight or some shit. Is. So we're just going to chill tonight. We ain't up too much. We're going to try to stay warm, uh, just take it easy. And we have the fitness workshop at Anytime Fitness Alice Springs tomorrow. At one o'clock. That's correct. Now we are staying at the casino, Asha. No gambling tonight, please. A little bit of pokey. <laughs> What's up, guys? Sunday morning here in Alice Springs, man. Just about to smash some breakfast. Asha. We were a bit restricted with our choices for breakfast this morning, weren't we? Down we at the hotel. We went looking and we've had to settle for a uh, buffet breakfast, I believe. If you can see the people in the background, buffet. So choices are quite limited. Mm -hmm. What choice did you make? Fruit, eggs, and bacon. Gains. That's like a, a standard CrossFitters breakfast right there. Almost. Close. Almost. Close. And I've gone for uh, not a traditional breakfast at all. I've actually gone for um, chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good man. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks good and it smells good. Anyway, we're gonna smash this breakfast. We're gonna get ourselves all ready, all rehearsed up, good to go, and head to Anytime Fitness Alice Springs for Fitness Workshop 10. Sunday morning, on our way to Anytime Fitness Alice Springs, gonna drop some knowledge bombs on the good people. The good fit fam of Alice Springs, man, the fitness community, with the Fitness Workshop 10. You excited? You rehearsed? I rehearsed. Did you spend all of last night, Saturday night, practicing for the fitness workshop? Didn't need to. <laughs> it's all up in here. We'll see you guys at Alice Springs at Anytime Fitness. Anytime Fitness, Alice Springs. You know, the thing that I love about um, Alice... <laughs> the thing I love about Alice Springs, Asha, your, uh, your hometown, is it takes two seconds to get everywhere. <laughs> I literally just shot that video just before, like as we were leaving the hotel and it's two minutes later and we're here. <laughs> anyway, let's go inside, get set up, get this fitness workshop on the road. Hey Asha. Yeah? Is that you? I'm not shaded like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, the, the shredded pre-comp photos. We should probably start using more realistic photos on the, on the, uh, people come and see us at these fitness workshops and get all disappointed because we're not as shredded as we look on the photos. They've even got us on the back of the bathroom doors. <laughs> look at Joe and Asha while you're in the bathroom. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so just to start off with, just to explain what cardio is. Obviously, um, it's a type of exercise that elevates your heart rate above so that's what cardio is. It's a type of exercise where your heart rate is above 60% and it's there for a long period of time. But what does it do? 
So Fitness Workshop 10, finished man, locked and loaded, all done. We had a great turnout. We uh, dropped all kinds of knowledge bomb on our Alice Springs Fit Fam, and now we're just about to get our swole on. So just finish our pre-workout meals. Then we usher, courtesy of Nutri to go. And we've got a workout with uh, three people that won the workout competition, man. We're just about to meet them in a sec. What are we training on today? All kinds of core pump. Are you doing the pump and Vasky? And Fury? And Alcapure? Man, that's a pre-workout stack of peace right there. <laughs> that's how Asha gets her gains. Everyone wants to know how Asha gets her gains? It's that pre-workout stack right there. Anyway, we're going to smash some of that. I'll probably train on... Uh, MTS Clash and Basket. We train his shoulders with the three winners, man. So we're going to get that into us and, uh, and we'll get straight into it. All right, guys, we're about halfway through our delt destruction, our shoulder workout, man, here with the whole group. We got Gaga and Deep. What's up, man? Very good, man. How's the workout so far? It's really intense, man. It's good. It's going really Fantastic. Good. We've got Asher working on some delts right there. We've got my man, Marcus. What's up, Marcus? Really nice. I like it. Yeah, fantastic. How's the workout? Good, excellent. And big Dave in the background. Look at those delts, man. Boulder shoulders going on. Veins and everything. Anyway, we're gonna keep crushing it. Catch you guys towards the end. All right, man, we're just about done here. Let's see how the fellas are going. We trained for almost two hours. Over two hours. What's up, Dave? All right, okay. You all done? How was the workout, man? Exhausting. Awesome, awesome. Marcus, you all done, man? Just for me <laughs> <laughs> no more upper bodies. Gagan, how you going, man? Yeah. All done? No more. Yeah? yeah. Delts are fried? <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's go find Asha. See how Asha found the workout. Oh, where she's at? She was training with us. She just disappeared. Asha! What are you doing? We're still training. <laughs> How is your workout? <laughs> what is going on here? I Delts. The, actually, <laughs> what a dog. <laughs> they do. They are. Look at that. Look at those delts. They're popping. My gone. Anyway, no, you don't have to train traps. What are you doing anyway? Look at All right. So you're done. How was the workout? Was Tell good. the viewers. It was the good. Workout, yeah. Those delts. They did. They did uh, fail, didn't they? Oh, okay. Right. Happy? Good. Awesome. And I've just got my last set to go, man. So I'm going to finish off my last set of shrugs. And, uh, and that'll be just about it for this here fitness workshop. Come and train. Workout in Alice Springs. Anytime fitness, Alice Springs. So we're just in the uh, supermarket looking for some, uh, some ice cream to have our post-workout Sunday night cheat meal and I had to show this. This is this is something that possibly the Australian viewers at home but definitely the international viewers at home are going to love. Asha, what is that? This is a kangaroo skin on tail. No, see that's that is that's not true. Let me get some zoom and focus action on the label there. What does it say? Kangaroo skin on tails. Have a look at that. That is legit a kangaroo tail not just skin on but hair on like the kangaroo has like carved it and they've just cut that shit straight off <laughs> and frozen oh my god <laughs> frozen it and selling it at the super how much does one of those cost 15. 15 bucks and people actually pay 15 bucks and that's the kind of shit you can expect in Alice Springs <laughs> anyway I'm searching for some ice cream I need some ice cream for my uh Part of my post where I got cheap, Let's see what we can find. Just about to head out for a uh, Sunday night cheat meal, man. So I'll show you guys some of Robbie Chop Shop's finest work. Look at that fade, man. Look how fresh that shit is. Look how clean that fade is. Look at that shit. Some of Robbie's finest work. Asha, thoughts? Fade's good. <laughs> it's on point. It's on point. Fade on fleek. You scrubbing up all right for dinner tonight as well. Look at this pushy cat. Look how she scrubs up. All right. Look at the outfit. That's a get up. Let's go. Let's go. Cheap meal gains. 
Got a little bit of Asian tonight. Some fried rice, a bit of pork belly, got some roti, a bit of butter chicken going on. Where are we at, Asher? What's this place called? Hanuman's. Hanuman's Alice Springs. One of the finest Asian Thai, I don't really know, we've got a mixture of like Thai, Thai, Indian and Malaysian and Chinese I guess. It's like a, a, a mixture of cultures. Anyway, shit is damn delicious. I'm gonna get back into it. Catch you guys post cheat meal. What's up guys? So just back here at the hotel post uh, Sunday night cheat meal, man. Ash has just popped out. Obviously, being a, uh, a local Alice Springs girl, she's uh, got a bunch of friends and family here. So she just popped out uh, tonight to catch up, catch up with uh, some friends of hers for a, for a quick coffee. So I'm back here at the hotel room, man. Just bust open my laptop, getting some work done on this, uh, this here Sunday night. I usually don't work Sundays. You guys that follow my vlogs and, and the YouTube channel will know that usually Sundays I try and take completely off work. But... When we got things like this, we got uh, fitness workshops and whatnot going on. I've got to take every opportunity I can to, to crush some work. Um, obviously, the fitness workshop being on a Sunday, um, although fun, is still work for me. Um, and then obviously, with all the, uh, the transit time, the flights to and from, the time spent in airports and whatnot, we lose, um, well, I lose a bunch of hours that I would normally have as part of my working week. So just got to get work done, you know, when I can. Um, and that's why I uh, decided to let Asher go and chill out um, on Sunday night. And, and I'm here back in the hotel room getting some work done. But I think it's worth it. You know, I think these, these fitness workshops um, are really cool. You know, they're very unique. No other supplement company in Australia at least does anything like this. Uh, so, you know, for us to, to be able to come to, especially remote places, like we do the big cities, of course, but to come to remote places like Alice Springs, we go to Darwin, we go to, uh, we, we, all over the place really. Um, and you know, drop knowledge bombs on people that they wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to, to learn the kind of stuff that we teach in fitness workshops. So it's definitely worth it. It's definitely very rewarding, um, for, for everyone that attends and then for us as well to be able to impart that knowledge. So. I'm more than happy to, to put in some, uh, some hours on a Sunday night um, for the benefit of, of others and for the benefit of the fitness workshop. So I'm going to get back into it, get some work done, and uh, that'll finish off this Sunday. We'll catch you guys in the AM. What's up, guys? First thing Monday morning, just here at the hotel gym at the uh, casino in Alice Springs, man. It's actually pretty cool. Check that out. Just about to hit some morning cardio. First thing in the Monday morning, fasted AM cardio, of course. I was gonna do it outside, Ash and I were gonna do it outside, man, but it's cold as shit out there today. So we thought we're heading to the gym. Ash has already started hers up on the treadmill. Good morning. So I'm gonna hop on there as well, man. Get some, oh, you got something to say? What? You got something to say? Good morning. No, morning. I'm gonna hop on, the, on there as well and uh, get my morning cardio done. Cardio done, how'd you go? Killed it. Crushed it. Smashed it. Anyway, I said to you guys that we did cardio inside because it was cold as shit out in Alice Springs at the moment, which is weird because it's the desert, but it gets hot in the day and cold at night. And I don't know if you can see that behind me, but that's the pool. And the pool's cold, and there's steam coming off the pool. <laughs> that's how f***ing cold it is in Alice Springs this morning. Anyway, done our cardio, pack our bags, head to the airport. Bags all packed up, we're ready to go. Just jumped in this tiny little elevator. And check this out, Asha. How many lights does one small elevator need? 16. <laughs> Have you ever seen as many down lights in a little elevator as that? 16. Shit is crazy. Anyway, we're off to the airport. Actually, before we go off to the airport, we, um, I don't know how this happens, but I'm sure a lot of you experience this yourselves, is you travel somewhere and you pack a certain amount of shit and then you leave and you somehow have more shit than what you left with. Ain't that the truth, Asha? Well, considering that we left some towers here. Yeah, uh, amino towers, taste, uh, tasting towers. So I've got myself a tub of this here MTS way that I can't fit in any of our suitcases because they're jam packed. So we're actually gonna go drop this off at the uh, Anytime Fitness Alice Springs. Spread some MTS way love around so they can use it for the uh, the fit fam of Alice Springs. So that's where we're off to, off to the airport after that. Catch a flight, get back to Adelaide. Then we should pick up some uh, authentic Alice Springs souvenirs before we head back to Adelaide, Asha. Thoughts? Didgeridoos. Boomerangs. 
What other Aboriginal artifacts do we have? Do you know how to play a didgeridoo? Negative. Yeah? I could probably try. Never learnt that living in Alice Springs for 13 years? No. Anyway. We got ourselves a flight to catch. You can throw a boomerang. Do it. <laughs> It'll come back to you. <laughs> All right, let's hop on this flight. When you're in the middle of the continent, in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, you get to walk on the tarmac to board the plane. Where you want to go, Asher? Adelaide? Melbourne? One behind there going to Darwin. Pick a plane, any plane. Let's go. Always got the last bag coming off the escalator. <laughs> Always last. Pink, pretty in pink. All right, let's go. So just landed back in Adelaide, went straight home, unpacked a little bit, repacked a little bit, and then I jumped straight in the car and I'm on my way to work, man. I'm on my way to MJHQ. Gonna try and salvage what's left of this Monday, man. We got a busy week this week. We got the opening, the grand opening of Massive Joe's store number five, Massive Joe's Norwood Parade, man, down at Norwood in South Australia. We got that happening on Saturday, uh, the grand opening. And then on top of that, all of the other bits and pieces that we've always got going on every week. So I'm straight to MJHQ, man. And no rest for the wicked you guys know it and uh, gonna get stuck into what I can get stuck into for what's left of this Monday head to the gym train tonight and uh, just get get you know the usual routine back well not back into the routine but get the usual routine underway so that's gonna be the last installment the last video installment for this edition of vlog hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves hope I've kept you entertained and informed and just generally subscribed to the YouTube channel <laughs> and while I'm talking about subscribing don't forget to hit the subscribe button subscribe to our YouTube channel man stay up to date with all the latest editions of vlog and all of the other deliciousness de deliciousness on the YouTube channel and guys that is another edition of Massive Joe's vlog and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com stay massive